Welcome back, everybody, and we are on episode two of our Cubs Dynasty. In the last episode, we had fired about half the staff, hired some new ones for the future, and did a fair number of trades where we traded away some of our pieces that we could get rid of for some future talent to try to turn around this team. But best right now, wins above replacement. <laughs> Uh, it looks like we only got three guys above a one. Scott Efros, uh, Marcus Stroman, and Justin Steele. As far as batting goes, Ian Hop has been our best. Eight home runs, 45 ribbies, 270 batting average. I believe he got himself an all-star this year. Yes, he did. So he got his first all-star appearance. So good on you for that. Other than that, Nico Horner batting 259, four home runs, 27 ribbies. Um, most of our trades that we made were for pitching. Uh, we got Jordan Hicks from the Cardinals. Uh, John Means we got from Baltimore. Those guys have been doing okay. We did get David Price from the Dodgers for Kyle Hendricks. So let's try to improve on that, and let's continue on to try to get to the offseason. Clint Frazier, bone chips in his elbow, will be out for six weeks. All right, well, I'm going to let the AI take care of that. And then we get another injury. Wade Miley is going to be out for one to two weeks. Anybody here who's new to the channel, I do the bare minimum when it comes to uh, moving players up or down or uh, controlling anything out on the field. I leave that to the coaches. For me, I am just trying to uh, put together the best roster I can to put together a championship winning team. Let's keep this going. You know what? If we can just get out of last, pay, last place and pass either the Pirates or the Red, Reds, I will be satisfied. I, I feel like that will be ending the season on a high note if we don't finish dead last, and we're not far off. But we're also not doing anything or help ourselves to get up there either. So we have improved our team runs against. We are now up to 13th from 14th, so I will take that. Still just a few games back from passing the Pirates. Let's continue on another week. We got our first series sweep on this file and it all the way, and it comes all the way in late August and against the Brewers of all teams simulating on and let's see Jordan Hicks with a torn rotator cuff out for eight months oh my god well still only 25 and he was two and three with a 330 ERA that is so disappointing maybe your contract extension yeah, he doesn't want nothing now because he's injured, though. So we will meet that demand and submit that offer. Everybody is just falling like flies right now. Stay healthy. We did pass the Pirates. Thank Christ. Let's simulate on to the roster expansion. We're just rolling on here now. We're about to pass the Reds. So we're starting to show some life here at the end of the season. Got an eight-game win streak going right now. And we got Hicks to resign. Hopefully he can come back from that rotator cuff injury and be throwing like he has been because he was starting to he was starting to get hot before he went down there. Simulate to the roster expansion now. And we got rookie of the month. Christopher Morell batting 275, 13 home runs, 36 ribbies. He went had a three batted 310, 31 hits, eight home runs, and 20 RBIs. And here we are at the roster expansion, and we have passed both the Pirates by a good margin now and the Reds. And hell, if we keep going at this rate, we might pass the Brewers and potentially get second. If, if uh, we keep going like we have been. And now, yes, improved runs against. We're up to 11th now. We were 14th. And we're out of the red and don't suck completely. 
So this season is actually turning out to be more of a success than I thought it was going to be. And we're going to simulate on now to finish out the remainder of the season. We're bouncing back and forth with the Reds right now. We are catching up to the Brewers. And we have passed the Reds. And we are really gaining on the Brewers. The team has really stepped it up over the last two months of the season. Which is awesome. I'm hoping the real life Cubs can do that because it's, it's, it's been pretty rough so far. It's, I'm not going to lie. It's been hard to watch. Playoffs won't happen for the Cubs. We have now been eliminated. I love how they got to throw that stat in there for this. Because that, that's the one thing I love about these out of the park baseball games. It's just how in depth they are when it comes to uh, their stat tracking and whatnot. And how embarrassing it is to see that the Cubs in their 152 year history are missing the playoffs now a grand total of 131 of those seasons we are the lovable losers and another rookie of the month for christopher morell batted 296 with six home runs and 14 rbis but we had a hell of a comeback from last place and jan gomes now is out for two weeks simulate to the season end and now my favorite part is going to be the off season because I can correct any and all mistakes. So we're going to go here to the playoff coverage, playoff tree. There we go. Simulate until the end of the round. All right. So the Tampa Bay Rays move on over the Blue Jays, two games to none. Houston wins two out of three over the Guardian. <sighs> Okay. The Guardians. God, it just feels so wrong to say. Growing up and calling them the Indians your whole life and then having to call them Guardians, it just it just feels off. Giants win two games to one over the Padres. The Phillies swept the Braves. Please, please, Phillies, wipe out the Cardinals. We will go to the next playoff round. And, of course, <clears throat> Cardinals run away with it and sweep the Phillies. The Dodgers win it in five over the Giants. The Yankees take the series in five over the Rays. And the White Sox won it in four over the Astros. So now as we go to the LCS, next playoff round, the Cardinals sweep the Dodgers. And the White Sox take it in seven over the Yankees. So now my two least favorite teams in baseball, the Southsiders against the Cardinals. But oh, no, 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 that's fine. I don't care. Fuck it. I don't even want to watch it. All right, let's, yeah, yeah, sure. Why not? But I hate the Cardinals so much more than the Sox. Come on, Sox. No, no. Yes, yes, no. Yes. All right. The fucking Sox take it over the Cardinals. Thank Christ. Season is over. Season score was a 437. So an average score. I'll take that. And they want me to re-sign David Price. All right, David. Apparently the owner really likes you and you really did step it up in that back half there. One and one, a save and a 338. All right. Uh, two years, eight and a half mil. How about, let's go, yeah, let's go seven and a half. If you do well enough or whatever, we'll go eight. He says it's a fair offer. Submit that. All right, so we're going to sim on to the Great Glove Award. But Simmons got himself a gold glove. Reliever of the Year for the National League, Ryan Helsley. 123 ERA. 6 and 2, 7 saves. It's pretty impressive. And Dylan Tate for the Orioles. Silver Slugger. Wilson Contreras. At least he fell off a little bit after we traded him away. Uh, Goldschmidt, so pretty much just the regular. Everybody that I would have predicted to be in that spot. Kyle Schwarber, really? 40 home runs and 95 ribbies. That is impressive. Way to go, Kyle. Anthony Rizzo. Oh my god, it still breaks my heart that you're a Yankee. 47 home runs, 117 RBIs. 
Hey, he's a free agent though after this year. Hmm. Might be able to go after Rizzo here. Rookie of the year. We got rookie of the year. And David Price resigns. Here we go. Christopher Morrell, 99 games, batted 283 with 20 home runs and 53 ribbies, scoring 61 times. So the Cy Youngs, Garrett Cole for the Yankees, 18 and 5, 307. And Joe Musgrove for the National League, 17 and 6 with a 2 ERA. And the MVPs at the end of our first season are. National League, Bryce Harper, 304, 51 home runs, 124 ribbies. Good God. And Aaron Judge, you know what, who is probably going to win it this year for sure at the rate that he's going right now. 283, 51 home runs, 105 RBIs. And let's go to the hearings. Okay, so for John Means, in favor of the player, 4.7 million. John Hicks. Ruled in favor of the team. Brad Week in favor of the team. Nick Madrigal in favor of the team. Favor of the team. Favor of the team. So it looks like we won all of our offers with the exception of John Means. Which four and four, two sixty five, four point seven mil. I can I can stomach that. So to the free agent filings. So top free agents this year: Trevor Bauer, Anthony Rizzo, Brandon Belt, Josh Bell, Jose Abreu. So what do we got going here? All right, definitely need some bullpen help. So just all around pitchers. Scott is pretty solid for a closer. Third base for sure. We got 63 million free agents. Let's let's look at just the starters. Tyler Anderson. Chris Bassett. Mike, what do you want? Only three years, seven mil. For three years, we're going to meet that demand for seven mil. We'll go for Mike. Um, let's try to get one more. Let's see, Joe Ross. Three and oh, two twenty. Eight mil. He's got some pretty solid pitches there. I think we're going to go, yeah, and only a two-year or three-year contract at 8 mil. Okay, so we got our starting pitchers here. What do we got for relievers? Oh, my God. There we go. I need some people that aren't going to cost me a fortune. Chad Green. Only wants five and a half mil. Three years, five and a half. Yeah, I think we're going to meet that demand. Andrew Chafin. Yeah, that's six and a half mil. Okay, so we got two starters, two relievers on the list. We still got 36 million left. All right, yeah, let's look at all the batters. Here we go. Okay. You know what? He might be a better option than Simmons. How much are you wanting? One year, $4.6 million. We are going to meet that. Absolutely. So, who is the best here at contact? Uh, 
Okay, now this is what I like to see here. 255, 8 home runs, 45 rubies, durable, and only $4 million. That is what I like to see. Andrew Benatendi, 12.8 million for seven years. You know what? I think I could live with that. Okay, so what do we got left going here? 17 million. Let's go after one more piece here. Yeah, he didn't do too shabby. He's got a decent glove, can play a lot in the field. He's got solid contact and avoiding strikeouts. You know, some of these one-year guys, that ain't going to be too crazy amount. So, all right, we're just under $15 million that we can work with. Uh, let's go free agents, pending offers, favors offer. All right, so Chad Green's favoring the offer. Everybody else is still pending. And Chad Green is the first one to sign with us. Hell yes. I love everything about you. Welcome to the team. It'll tell me. And the free agents pending offers. Okay, so everyone favors the contract. Now keep it that way, boys. Come on. All right, so Joe Ross, we have got. We go back to here. Everybody still favors offer. Still got ten million. And we got Andrew Chafin. Matt Duffy, Mike Clevenger, Andrew Benatendi, and we got Yuli. I think we got everybody. And we got Hideo. All right, so we got everybody that we wanted, and we still have 15 mil. Is there anybody left here that I'd want to go after? And you can just play anything you think that your little heart desires to. And Scout is feeling pretty good about him. Didn't really reflect too well in the majors, though. 192 and a 172 batting average. Solid defensively. His contact is good. Avoiding strikeouts is good. His contact's decent. Avoiding strikeouts is good. And his contract demand is only $2.4 million. And he only wants a minor league contract. $2.4 million if he gets called up. So we'll go with Diaz. So we're going to continue on to the Hall of, Va Hall of Fame of voting. And Alex Rodriguez. And his second year gets into the Hall of Fame. There's got to be a gigantic asterisk all over that name, right? All right, sim forward to the preseason beginning. Trade proposal wouldn't hurt us either way. Ooh, okay. I like that. What's his contract, though? Just a minor league contract. For Jacob. So who else do we have, then, on our roster to be out in the outfield? Brendan Davis. Oh, Hayward, I forgot you were still here. <laughs> yeah, so we still have some options. 
So yeah, I think I'm going to take that trade offer. Complete trade, yes. Ask AI to set that up. And simulate on to the preseason. And hopefully, Homeboy is going to give us an email here soon and say, Yes, I would like to sign with you. Alright, so we did get Diaz. Tom Ricketts. Yeah, as a reminder, based on our current financial position, I have decided to make the following adjustments to your budgets. Dropped scouting budget, dropped player development, dropped draft budget, dropped international play free agent. Oh my god, you cheap motherfucker. <laughs> Fucking bone the fans out by putting together a dog shit product and then charging outrageous prices for the tickets creating your own fucking network that the fans have to pay to watch instead of just keeping it on WGN like so everybody could watch it and then you drop all of the team's financials you are a piece of shit Yeah, controlling. Sell the team, Ricketts. That's all I got to say. Okay, spring training begins. So let's go have the AI set this up. And then we will sim forward to opening day. Another trade proposal. I mean, I like this guy. Ground ball pitcher, 90-92. For Dominic. Dominic is still a risk. You know what? I think I'm going to accept this trade. Bring another arm for the pen. That could help us down the line here. So we definitely made some improvements, I think, in this offseason. Spring coverage. Preseason predictions. I always forget to look at this. What are the predictions? All right, so they are predicting this year that we are going to finish middle of the road, just dead even, 81-81, which is an improvement. We are not predicted to have anybody in the stat leaders okay simulate on okay so we started off real good now we're just falling further so it looks like they called it right we were just uh middle of the road there okay so did we have any leaders okay so it looks like diaz who we just signed batted 408 that is awesome brennan davis Tied for six with five home runs. Anybody else here? Oh, Diaz again here was fifth with seven doubles. And Yuri got caught stealing twice. Or Yuli. Why is your old ass trying to run the bases? <laughs> 45 speeds. Frazier, 23 strikeouts. Yuck. All right. We have any pitching leaders? Anyone at all? Not looking good, Kimosabi. Oh, hey. Manuel Rodriguez. Had five holds. Oh. 
Awesome. All right, so let's get to the office here. Season expectation. Should at least try to stay close to an even record. And our opening series will be against Atlanta. We're going to come here to roster. Ask AI to set up the organization. So let's see what we got going here. So we got Strowman, Clevenger, Wade Miley, Joe Ross, and Justin Steele for our rotation. We got Manuel Rodriguez, Alzole, David Price, Drew Smiley, Chris Martin, Michael Rucker, Andrew Chafin, Scott Efros, and Chad Green for our rotation and bullpen. And for the lineups, let's see who's getting the starts here. Looks like we're going to have Nico Horner starting at second base. Ian Hop is going to be starting at first base. Yuli is going to be the designated hitter. Suzuki, starter at right field. Andrew Benatendi at left. Matt Duffy will get the start at third. Jason Hayward will get the start at center field. Jan Gomes will be catcher. And Simmons will be shortstop. And as far as against righties, lefties, it looks like it's going to be the same on both sides. And then off the bench, we got John Hicks. Diaz made the cut. Hell yes. Hermosillo. Be center field. Coming off the bench. Ooh, that is ugly. Voiding strikeouts. Is there anybody that we had to send off on waivers? Yes. Brad Week and Ryan Hudson. So I definitely think we made an improvement, and we are going to save right here. And I think that'll be it for this episode, as we will continue on with this new roster and hope that we have better success than we did last than uh, this last season. But I definitely think we've made some better moves. All of you have a good night, day, week, whenever you may be watching this, and I will catch you on the flip side.